good morning everyone so today we are going to see the evs part 1 of standard 4th let me continue with the chapter number 20 i will be the responsible and sensitive last time we have seen about the uh, some of the responsibility what we have to do and we have seen about uh, how to treat our, our elders and our parents yes we have seen isn't it children so we already you know uh, offline classes has been get started yes in, in the offline school has been get started and we are conducting the uh, lectures also so already we have completed this chapter but then too we are going to some of the points i'm going to cover so uh, what do you know the response be towards the people with a special need but who are the special needs who are the special people blind person deaf and dumb yes all these people are very special peoples you know just like blind people who are the hand you just just go the kind of they just got deaf and you just don't need it and you're dumb hey you born is up there so people have the physical handicap because of the illness or some sickness or some accident they they may be born with them you know they are natural okay for that people we have to help them okay they suffer inconvenience meaning that is why they are in need in special service yes so we should help them whenever they are need yes see this uh, no do you know nowadays uh, in many hospitals in abroad in foreign country they are kept the robot to help the patient yes robot are used for the service and aid for the patient yes right so so we should take care of everything see here the blind person blind person is very comfortable taking the help of the white stick cane yes it is very easy for him to cross the road yes so so blind people can walk about in public places using the with the help of white cane sticks along with him yes the blind person even can uh, blind person can go he can go in the some building you know in some building they have the floor number but they have used they have written in the braille language okay braille means they are using the character or some kind or code language of the the people can understand the language that help us the blind person to go anywhere easily without any help a blind person can vote secretly like other the citizen can vote you know see that this uh, in in some of the school or university or in the railway station you you can see the concrete slope which has been built next to the staircase and this slope is called a ramp isko hum ramp bolte hain ki kai sare buildings railway station bahut sare you know bilkul staircase ke baju mein rehte and it is very easy for them possible to take a wheelchair and enter the building so this facility exists so that people with the special needs can live with their daily lives easily blind people jo dikhai nahi dete jo andhe hai they can read and write by using the sense of touch so this system of writing is called braille so braille is a character they can make use of rays of dots they can read the newspaper yes by using the dots yes each character has a fixed number and arrangements of dot a blind person can read the paper by filling this rays dots so blind person can listen to the story if they are read out right so here you can see the picture see the how these people are reading their book how they can understand by through the language code see this this two people right the, the physical handicap children yes so these are the braille character braille alphabet by raising the dots different dots have the different scripts they have okay this is the literacy code this is the braille alphabet with the help of them they can understand see the sign language the one who is deaf see the alphabet a b c still up to the z yeah this is a sign language so people who cannot hear 
use the sign language they also taught how to lip read you know lip read kaise read karte do hot hilta yes to follow what other people can say they can follow other people speech also they speak slowly and clearly special sign has been used for the new program broadcast television program also yes so here we have completed the chapter so here we are going to write this exercise we'll provide the answers for you and write down in the notebook so please try to attend the offline classes because we are already started with the uh, taking the lectures also thank you